My influences, I just love the three kings, B.B., Freddie, and Albert. Well, I never met B.B. Freddie died before I even started playing guitar. Right. And so the only one I ever had a chance to know and meet was Albert. And so I love playing like Albert King. I just loved it. I could play like Albert King like nobody's business. Well, one time we're doing this gig in Little Rock. You know, Larry Davis' experience is playing this gig in Little Rock at Tony's Dog House on Roosevelt Road. And it's an all black club because we played the Chitlin Circuit mostly. And uh, so we're playing. There's about 300 people in there, and it's a pretty good night. And it's like a Saturday night. When all of a sudden, who walks in the door but Albert King? Now, his childhood nickname, what we called him, was Slim. I, of course, called him Mr. King. Everybody else called him Slim because they knew him from when he was a kid growing up. Him and Larry grew up together. And uh, so Larry just goes, hey, Slim, well, you want to come on up and sit in a little bit? And Albert, you know, he just, yeah, man, I'll come up there and do a song or two for you, no problem. <laughs> and so as he gets up on stage, Larry looks at me and goes, Hey, John, give Slim your guitar so he can play a little guitar. And I'm in the process, of course, you know, my guitar's off just quick as lightning. And I'm, here, here's my guitar, Mr. King. Hope you enjoy <laughs> it. Have fun. And Albert looks at me and looks at Larry. And all of a sudden, his big smile goes across his face. Now, Albert was a really big man. Right. I mean, he'd shake your hand, your hand would disappear in his, you know. And he just kind of leans back, and he smiles, this sly grin, and he goes, he talks right past me and over me to Larry. He goes, well, heck, Larry, I don't need to play this guy's guitar because he, he plays just like me. And then he paused for effect, and... Everybody in the audience is listening. You could hear a pin drop. And he looks at me and he goes, the only thing is, I'm Albert King. Man, the place just exploded <laughs> with laughter. Larry's doubled over. I've got this shock. I got yeah. the deer in the headlights look going on. And Larry's going, can I use colorful language? Sure. Okay, because this puts it more in context. Larry looked at me, laughing his ass off, and goes, See, motherfucker, I've been telling you, you need to develop your own sound and your own style. Because who wants to hear you impersonating Albert King when Albert's standing right next to you on stage? And it was like I had the quintessential V8 moment, you know. Boom. Oh, and from that point on, I have striven... Stroven. I have strived. I have tried really hard. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> to uh, come up with my own sound, my own tone, and my own style. And because that's, that's the way these guys taught me was don't play our stuff. Come up with your stuff. Yeah. Play. You, you take from, you learn from us. But you, you have to come take what you learn from us and turn it into your thing. Yes. In other words, create, don't recreate. And that's the way I've always approached uh, guitar playing ever since is to try to come up with something different and string. Is I mean I'm playing the same blues notes and and notes on on a guitar that everybody else plays. But it's just the way I put them together. Yeah, the phrasing, the bends, the the sensitivity. Well, it's like, uh, how twisted is the mind that comes up with the phrases that I come up with sometimes? <laughs> it's like, my wife looks at me and goes, what were you thinking? And I go, what do you mean? She goes, well, that was really cool and stuff, but how did you come up with that? That's just yeah. the way I feel. 